YouTube. This is part number two of me teaching Ots Darva how to play Slay the Spire. If you haven't watched part one, you might want to. There's a lot of information packed into it. It was just such a massive video because it was a five hour plus session with him that I had to break it up into two videos. Uh, otherwise, I just think that none of you would have watched until the end. So I'm going to make it a little bit less intimidating by uploading it in two parts. I loved doing this collaboration with him and a lot of you want me to potentially learn Dead by Daylight. My main thinking is that I would want to do something very similar to him where I have a specific goal in mind when I go into playing the game. So I'm not going to just go learn DBD just to say that I did a collab with Otstarva. I would want a specific goal. So maybe if you have a specific goal like that, please drop it in the comments. What can I do? Uh, maybe get to rank one without trying to uh, break my computer. Either way, I hope you enjoy the content and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Hi, I'd like a large pepperoni. I'm so sorry, this is a Wendy's. The way that I, I look at it a lot of times, especially on the Ironclad and the Silent, is keeping the number of strikes and defense as close to even as possible as you try to remove. Uh, we could maybe even apply a, an unupgraded bash so that he gets the weakened, but he doesn't wake up so that the next he turn he has- your red skull. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, God damn it. Can I explain why it was better to take a fight, at least? Um... Uh... No, you, you kind of scare me, dude. I don't want to take more question marks in my life ever again after that. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just need to question. drink up. So yeah, yeah. bitches. Let's you, go. Let's you, go. You're realizing what your deck is doing. Your deck is just bracing people with, with damage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's... that's this, is, this is very interesting. All right, so let's try to rule out what we don't want. Uh, am I crazy for thinking barricade is not maybe necessary? Not, it's it's not bad, but we, um, we have we have one turn of like big plug and then that's it. Yeah, we typically right, try yeah. to time it. It's not it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Am I am I am I yeah. wrong? Do, do you see something I don't with barricade? Um, I I think that there is potential future with barricade. Um, but I also like I don't think that it's guaranteed. Okay. Um, whereas Reaper is like again, you're trying to think of like solving the thing in front of you. Okay. And well, I think Reaper me. just does that really really well why um because a lot of fights in act three are multiple persons that I remember. and also you have red skull and also you have magic flower so you're going to be healing for a lot oh damn you're right yeah your hp is going to be fluctuating uh, quite a bit it also blocks a little bit when it gets rid of itself mm -hmm. yeah i just don't well, really think you need to nimble right now would it not be good against I mean, here's the thing, right? Uh, we're going into two bosses at the end of this. I've never done that. Never. I've <laughs> never had two bosses. Which means that right. one of them is going to be either the Crow or the... Um, what do they call in the wiki? Yeah, the Shapes. They're, they're called the Shapes. Or, you know, they're going to be either the Shapes or the Crow. And I think in both of those fights, Immolate is pretty nice, no? It's all right. I think oh. they have like 260 HP and you're dealing 30. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's not really good. Um, okay. Reaper said then. Yeah. This act is just going to be focused on, like, looking for things oh. that help you scale. I mean... Okay. So, I think the the least exciting out of all these options is the tiny house. Because it upgrades a random car, which could be something we don't need. Plus, we don't benefit that much from upgrades since we have armaments. At least not as much. Um, so, tiny house... The 50 gold, the card, the potion. We, I don't know. It seems not that amazing. Uh, then we have Coffee Dripper, which I think sits well with our strategy of staying mostly injured, healing passively with our, you know, Magic Flower and friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Blood does benefit from Magic Flower, which would heal me. Oh, shit. I just fed, <laughs> I just just gotta, fingered just, yeah, it. Save it I'm sorry about that. I don't know oh, why funny. I did that. Um... Yeah, trying to like, look at the upgrade. Okay, he was looking. He's trying to look at the upgrade of it. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, this would heal me for what? For eighteen each? Like that's mm -hmm. very comfy. It's, that's it's very comforting, and I think that's the perfect word to describe it because yeah. it's not like very good, right? Like yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not incredible. But so here's 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 the way to look at it. Yeah. It's not going to help you at the end. I know, right? And I like need, it's not going to help I you against the, the last I, I guy. I feel like I need the energy desperately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus we have this, which is you know we need to still keep in mind that we're going to get. I, we're only going to get one of these, right? Unless we're very lucky. 
Sadly. Unless you focus on the tiny chest. Oh, oh, well, unless I go through. Oh, is that yeah. something worth doing? I mean, I feel like the question marks. Yeah. The question marks in Act Three, I are early in Act Three. Question marks are amazing. Yeah. Okay. Later on, not so much. Um. Yeah. So like, the 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 main ones of like the mind bloom and stuff, they just get like a little bit weaker later into the in the act. There's also a lot of um, card what, removal. What, what, why can you can you walk me through that? I don't quite sure. Understand. Yeah, in the in, so mind what, bloom. Wouldn't you like, want the mind bloom to upgrade everything and not heal near the end? Wouldn't that be good at the near the end? You're never gonna take that with this deck. Um, oh yeah, I understand. Gonna... No, 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 I understand. But I I was thinking of it from like a general general point of view. Right. Um. So mind bloom in the beginning of the act in the first half is going to give you the option for 90, 999 gold with the two curses. Versus at the end of the act, it's just like heal to full HP, I think, with a doubt yeah. or something. Um, oh. So it's just like more valuable early in the okay. act, as well as a lot of the uh, question marks in, in Act 3 are card removal, like the yeah. um, uh, stuff like that. So it's like you're you're wanting to take them more early on just to like know uh, where your deck's going versus I'm, like I'm guessing trying to bank off of card removal at like the end of the act. Right. I'm guessing the 999 gold is actually pretty good for hearts since... Maybe you yeah, get to, to do really a good. massive buying spree in the final couple shops. Yeah, okay. and especially since you have Smiling Mask, it was easy for you to move things. Right. Uh, so are we going the Comfortable round or the one with energy? I feel like Coffee Absolutely, you're going the energy round. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Don't be afraid of Coffee Dripper. It's one of the best relics in the game. Yeah, uh, that much I've learned. So Newer, yeah, newer players are very... I know you're not newer, but... To yeah, no, no, no. Chat, I, I Like, literally, yeah. I could tell... It to, I, I won a lot of my rounds with this. And I, it mm -hmm. took a bit of resistance at first to like realize that, hey, actually, you know. This like, act looks incredible. Does it? There is a quadruple question mark path right in front of you. Um, right at the beginning of the act, there's a quadruple question mark path into that. your first elite, into a campfire, into a second elite, into a chest, into a second, into a third elite, into a campfire, into another <laughs> question mark, into a shop. <laughs> this is an unbelievably good act. You okay. could not ask for better. All right, let's hope you're right. Um... I haven't been wrong yet. No, you're right. You have been very accurate in... The boot! Insane. <laughs> oh. There's a, a mod that might be worth uh, using that literally just like tracks. It's called like stat tracker or something or like relic <laughs> tracker. And it'll just like show it. So if you hover over the boot, like how much extra damage it's done. Uh, over the course so, like, of the it'll run. Show you yeah, it'll show you like just like how and many then, times. And it's then at the end, it's like, like 15 downs, yeah. and you're like, dude, best <laughs> relic ever. Let's fucking go. Make sure to play offering first, by the way. Um, you're hovering battle. Yeah, so. no, 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 I know. I was thinking, do we even need offering? Don't I just kill him with just battle trans into fiend fire without losing HP? Question mark. Uh, let's see. Draw three. You'll go to what? Seven cards, six cards, six times ten. No. Well, he's vulnerable. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. You're so smart. Um, he didn't reaper. Yeah, I was gonna say, hold up. Nine health. Is that enough damage still? Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Even bad. if it doesn't, you're blocking. Oh, you're true, blocking. yeah. All right, oof. Oh, goodbye. Nice. Damn, that is comfortable. Look at you, full HP. Anything stand out? Uh, unlike, unlike power through, Wild Strike puts the one in my draw pile, which is doesn't feel so good. And wounds do not naturally exhaust, so I don't see much synergy here. Too late for this, maybe. But almost strike. There's almost no reason to have two if we could upgrade them nicely. But I also I think feel two is fine. Would you take the, uh, battle trans? Just has poor synergy with other battle trans. Mm -hmm. I don't, we don't probably need it. Um, I think I think the second pommel strike here is fine, just because it's going to get upgraded so often with armaments or like things like that. I think it's fine. Okay. You have more energy now, so it's easier to cycle. This is a shitty event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to heal. I mean, we could take this and remove the card, probably. But if we are unlucky, we don't get to remove it for a long time. Uh, yeah. Losing 15 HP is absolutely doable. And I think the madnesses are good because they exhaust. Like, it's think of it yeah. like a... As long as we yeah. have draw, mm -hmm. right? We exhaust it, get a bit of block. Make, maybe make one of the... Like, if we can make Fiend fire, like, zero cost... At like the right well, time, that's big, right? I mean, your goal could also be to make pommel strikes cost zero, and then you have an infinite. Oh, you exhaust your entire deck, and then you just have two pommel strikes, and they just and like an abacus or a rage or something, right? 
you, you would need the abacus or the rage because uh the heart Easily block yeah yeah just, just because yeah, of the yeah. heart right i gotcha mm -hmm. um i could also so lose four my hp if i'm um, that's that's the safe route it, yeah. it, no i think I, I almost always take retrace your steps because like it's me, just me too you're 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 like you're changing your win condition at this point right so yeah. like you know what your deck's doing right now you know that your deck's really strong um so do you want to like switch how your deck is playing and play it now around this new strategy of the madnesses if you, know, you want to let's we can do it it's it's not you know, you know what like let's skip in in, in account let's let's take into account that we are getting some relics that are gonna do maybe good but unpredictable things maybe exactly. maybe we want to be a bit predictable in other stuff maybe just lose the four might just be mm -hmm. and take the small l and move on yeah i do i do that all right oh Glowing Tesseract. Oh my god, one of my favorite events. Is that so? You are at full HP. If you are anywhere close to full HP, you almost always want to click the three cards. Oh god. Dude. Things that you're looking for here are exhaust things. So something like a purity can be really, really good in the heart fight. Um, uh, impatience is okay, depending on how many cards you have. I don't think this deck necessarily wants an impatience. Um, uh, I think that Enlightenment can be good depending on what your deck's doing. I think Trip can be fine for some decks. I think Dramatic Entrance could be okay. Um, yeah. Mainly you want like Dark Shackles, the thing that removes strength for a turn. That is insane. You got really unlucky here. Yeah. But if you if you think about what you did see though, um, you saw a couple of rare cards early on, but you also saw other non-rare cards, which were all uncommon. So never mind, it didn't help your rare percentage at all. Eat shit. Okay. Um, Finesse is okay. Finesse is fine, but you're going. You know, you're going against Time Eater, so it's kind of okay. going to hurt you a little bit more than it's helping you. Um, out of the cards that cost two or more, we don't. Yeah, like if you it's, think about it, we're not using them consistently other than Bash. Finfire yeah, is it's... one and done. Reaper is one mm -hmm. and done. Bash. It's not like we're going to win by bashing things to death. So I don't feel like the. Oh, sorry. I feel like I'm yeah, good. I think the only one that's even co worth considering is like secret weapon, so that you can like yeah. guarantee to yeah, get like fiend yeah. fire in a certain turn, and also yeah. it's, it it has a little bit of block attached to it. So I think secret weapon would be the only take here if you want to take is, it. Is, um, is finance not just like a free pick? Is there any downside associated to this other than going maybe time beater? Oh, and also yeah. against the heart, it, the beat of death is going to be it's literally just going to be a cycle that doesn't do anything because right, if true. you don't have finesse in your deck you're just going to draw the card that you would have drawn yeah. with finesse yeah yeah no so i like... fully understand that okay we take that and we take the small l but it's not too big it, again it's 10 hp that you like you healed this hp already like you're fine mm -hmm. um a lot of times if you have like less than like 70 gold this can be worth it right this is the red mask yeah the weakening on turn one so many things late in the game have artifact yeah that it's not super good in the like if you think about like the late 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 game um a lot of enemies like don't even do big stuff on turn one not even that good okay. and also you have smiling mask so your removal is so cheap it is so valuable that i even not, having I 80 gold you wouldn't take it mm. no because smiling mask smiling mask is allows you to remove as many cards as you want essentially okay. so like okay but yeah su super question mm -hmm. since uh, unlike we go into a shop right away, which we know is not going to happen because I have the tiny chest. Of course. So basically, knowing that that's not a possibility, we're likely going to go here, 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 here. By the time we get to the next shop, we're going to remove a card anyway. We're going to have 50 gold from all those fights. No? Right. But then don't you want to remove another one in Act 4? I am not I'm even... Dude, th that's, dude, I'm not even thinking about Act 4. That's the problem, you see? <laughs> Like I'm, I'm thinking. I think that you're strong enough to do it, so I think it's worth thinking. Okay. About. I think, yeah. I think you're absolutely mm, strong enough no, to do like, it. No, like you gotta realize, I've never. I mean, I've gone to Act Four. I've been in a, a few times. I'm telling me wrong. At like Ascension 14, 12, 17 once, you know. Sure. But I haven't really done it at 20, and I haven't even done it in a while because I've been grinding to reach the A20 on everybody. So, yeah. Okay. I see your point. Oh well, we got something else that's very um, comparable, but even better, maybe. Bag of Marbles is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and then the you don't really have like many skills in your deck that like need an need update. Anything I think it's a super, yeah. Yeah. I think it's uh, a in fact, key you could even argue, like secret weapon. Even secret like, weapon is okay at, at exhausting just because. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of bad being upgraded. Yeah. Yeah. So we take this out. You don't want to redraw it, and also the exhaust helps you. Yeah. Perfect. Um, that was amazing. Is there? Should we play it a bit more careful and go? Like I'm thinking about the pivot points, right? This is one. Mm -hmm. Should we go left so that if we don't find if we don't find ourselves very comfortable, we could just take one elite and then just dodge other elites? 
Or should I just pummel through it since we're feeling pretty strong and we have the Black Star? Yeah, you're definitely gonna want to pummel through it. Yeah, you're you're insanely strong right now. Oh, okay. Oh dear. It's fine. Oh. Um, I think it could be worth using your strength push new since you're not in red skull range. And also you haven't seen a potion yet this act, so right. I think it's perfectly worth it. Um, um we begin with a pummel strike probably and draw something else and make our absolutely. mine up. Yeah. Oh. This seems so okay. good. Mm-hmm. It's really nice to have so much energy. We could go into a Reaper, but I don't think it's necessary. I think it's better later if you absolutely like if you because there's a good chance you're gonna take like a big hit worth of damage. Yeah. So it's like do I, disar just, do I disarm this bastard? He hits for big oh, hits, absolutely. right? You do? Yeah, multi-attacks all the time. Um, Easy peasy. I mean, it's pointless to do this. Hey, Arrow! Thanks so much Get for the wound, raid. We're learning the this game the at the higher level. Welcome. Okay. Um, Yeah? This yeah? Feel the pain is always going to be first and then into yeah. secret weapon. Um, Your best thing to grab with it is like pommel strike. Uh, yeah, an intimidate now maybe would be okay. If I... Secret weapon only allows you to grab attacks. No, 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 no. I Sorry, I was thinking with Shrug off if we get... Uh -huh. um, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, cool. Yeah, sorry. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, should we use Warcry, yeah, so the... Warcry first? N no, so the reason why... So, like, you know what you want with Secret Weapon, right? Like, yeah. Secret Weapon, you always want the Pommel Strike. And if okay. you were to Shrug it off now or Warcry and find the Pommel Strike, you'd be like, ah, shit. Oh, then Secret then you have Weapon's less of a... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I would Secret Weapon first. Order of operations matters a decent amount, especially the later you get into the game and the more variety of types of draw you have. That's why, like, Shrug It Off is better than Warcry first, because you're going to dig a little bit deeper into the deck. Find okay. another card. Yeah. Um, also, um, hold up. I'm going to move my... Yeah, I have more, I'm going to move my camera like this, so it doesn't... Yeah, just might be worse. Um, okay, so... We want the secret weapon... Uh, don't we want the cleave here just to get rid of this one and chip no. the others? No? I think with, like, how much rough block that you're getting right now, okay. you don't mind getting hit because, again, you're going to get into Red Skull range. I think the yeah. thing that hurts you more is actually the wounds. So I would actually use the Pommel Strike on the 24 health guy. Um, this one? Yeah. Oh, because it debuffs... Is this yeah, wounds? it's going to give you a wound, and that's kind of annoying. Versus, like... Is it, is the, it, is the... it the type of non-conditional wound? Like it's not like if it damages you like the like the book. Yeah, it's it always gives you the wound. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Green. Do they do, they don't do that always? Do they or do they? It's always only on their do first attack. On their, on their first they attack. do the first attack gives you a wound. Second attack is the big attack, and then they're disappeared. And then so they're that's why you don't really care about that other guy because like even if you kill him right now, yeah. she's just gonna replace him again. Yeah. So like, as long as you are like you're aiming towards your goal of like red skull because you have the reaper to heal, like you have all of these things. If there's four or five guys. And you Reaper for like Hi, 10 Johnny. HP, you're healing to full. Like you're you're A-OK. -okay. You have offering coming up. You could even find it if you like shrug it off right now. Like yeah. there's a good chance that you'll find it if you shrug it off and then war cry. Right. Should I intimidate mm. right now? Just for the block sure. and Yeah. Intimidate's great. The value of that is incredible. Yeah. I, I would uh, shrug it off first, remember. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really good. No? I would war cry first, just to see if you find the offering, since it's one in seven. Yeah. Um and then I even think that there's like merit here of not playing anything because you want the offering next turn to like be the most value possible. Offering next turn to be most value. You, you know that the offering's in your draw pile, right? Yes. We haven't played it. So you have a really good chance of drawing a next turn. I mean, you can play Battle Trance because like technically it's, you have a less than a 50% chance of drawing it now. So like technically the odds are in your favor to not draw it. Um, but... I think it's fine I, to do. I, I just play the fan still, though. Mm -hmm. There's no reason yeah. not to, right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you were telling me not to use the fan, and I didn't quite... <laughs> I didn't quite, like, get that. I'm like, why not? All right, so... Hell yeah. So, um, remember what we talked about with, like, wanting to reshuffle cards in your deck? Yes. I think that the, that the cleave would be a card right now that you would want to reshuffle into your deck, because if you drew it twice right now, it'd be phenomenal. Um, I see the point. So I think of you that. can cleave and then offering. Should I armaments first, just so it's upgraded? You could, but, but then you could also, if you, yeah, you if you offering first, you can upgrade more cards. That's, That's yeah, fair enough. This will also become one, since I'm damaging myself here. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, right. this is this is solid. I think that you. Um... Do I want to heal with this just to no, be on good shit? No, not shape? really. Not really. Nah, I think that um, the fiend fire is really good block here. So I think if you just like take out some of the damage here and then leave two energy to be able to fiend fire, I think you'll block most of the the other the attack from. Wait. Reptomancer. Wait, 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 wait. Dumb question. Do we have lethal if I bash this fucker? Uh, pommel bash strike. Draw two cards, fiend fire, bam, bam, bam. We have just enough energy for that. This is time to do a bit of math. Let's see. Yeah. We hit him with this 168. We hit him with this uh, 18. 150. Then we would have eight cards, seven, seven. I think it's enough. Is it? We're about to find out. 13 Oof. times 7. I, I was expecting like I was expecting a bit more. Why am I not seeing more? Oh, I mean, I do have anger. Yeah, but that uh, just reduces the number of cards in your hand. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, hold up. I should have played this one, sorry, instead of anger. But then I don't have enough energy for this. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think my... Yeah. Don't let me cook, man. Oh, dear. I still should have used Fire. To You're the fine. Board. The thing is, though, is because you have Reaper... You're yeah. fine. You're okay. Uh, like, this is not a terrible scenario. Okay. You're going into Red Skull range. Okay. It doesn't, like, you're okay. Let them summon. Let them come back. Get the Reptomancer low, but, like, you're chilling. Right now is, like, uh, you just want to cycle as many cards as possible in order to get as close to the Reaper as possible, but to not draw it. So drawing the Battle Trance here is perfectly fine. Is and it? using it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drawing Why? and using it. Because, like, the likelihood that you're going to draw Reaper here is low. But isn't, isn't it a chance that we should respect, or am I dumb here? Nah, it's Sh like a... Shouldn't I two maybe sh shrug it off and get rid of one of these? Yeah, you can. Sure. That's better? I mean, it, it, it's, it's all just about odds. Oof, um... You have lethal. I'm dead as fuck, am I not? No, you have lethal. Do I? Uh, we're hitting four times. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, Perfect. we are within Red Skull Ranch, which was my goal all along. Look at this guy cook, man. Mm, not really. Yeah, I don't know why. Why did I think that? Because this wasn't upgraded, maybe. In my head, <sighs> in my head, this did 150 damage. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. I had a mental fart at some point. Um, oh, what do we think about Impervious here? Is Impervious is an incredible card. Is it here? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, Headbot, I mean, we saw it earlier and we decided against it. Uppercut is nice. Good. Uppercut, especially since it's upgraded, it's not terrible. You don't have yeah. any weakening in the deck other than the one turn of Intimidate. Yeah. Um, it's not it's not bad, but I just think Impervious is just that much better. Yeah, it's 34 block. If we've Because if you, if you think, like, if you're taking... Uppercut because you want a weakening source. Yeah, but how much damage is it going to block on average? Is it going to be more than 30? Probably not. No. Okay. Taking pure percent. Maybe a cheeky heal, huh? <laughs> oh no, here it comes. We're going to die. Uh, uh, oh no, I don't have an extra 45 HP in my in my butt right now. <laughs> um, all right. Is there anything that is desperately hurting for an upgrade? Uh, fiend fire this night would be nice. Be fine. Should we just take the recall? Nah. No. I mean, oh, oh, oh! I know a time we could have helped. How about upgrading okay. our second pommel strike just to draw one extra? That seems like a good one. I love it. Okay. Uh, where was it? Right here. I feel like that would have helped this fight. So, I'm thinking those terms. Hey. Well. Um. Interesting. That's my plan here. I probably want to draw cheaper cards, because right now I have a bit of chunky ones, and this is best if I, you know... I got I barely need to block, so in fact, if I don't block and I take three damage, it's almost better for the blood for blood, so... Yeah. I, basically, I basically just want to tackle through a bunch of cards. I could use Intimidate, but maybe not nah, just yet. Don't want to, yeah. So I want to use Pommel. Yeah? Um, yeah, I think you could also grab Bash and then, like, Bash Reaper. Because, like, Bash the Reaper's Reaper. really not going to get any better. Oh. And it's going to heal you for quite a bit. Oh. 
Yeah, considering the magic flower and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'll be completely honest. I would have probably not seen that. We also didn't need to bash because she was already vulnerable. Yeah, but you're just setting up for future turns because the is, first couple of turns are going to be very, the weaker ones yeah, where it's yeah, not is, doing a whole lot. That is very true. It's actually a really good amount of HP to heal for. You don't want to heal for too much because you don't want to get out of Red Skull range. Should here. I intimidate? You want to heal right under Red Skull range, and if you use more cards, you're going to increase the slow, which is going to make you deal more damage. Okay. So right now, that's 18 healing, which is going to put you at 36. Which is a right good underneath good. half. Okay. Solid. Uh, you want to take the three damage, remember? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I was trying to think solid, if there was solid, any, solid. any good reason to do that. Open with offering here, this right? This might just be a massive... Yeah, this might just be a massive Fiendfire turn. It's looking a bit like it. Let's do this, yeah. which is going to be like... A, just waste time to increase the slow, which makes us do more damage, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, that's what you can do. You can play your palm. Uh, you everything. Ooh, feel yeah. no pain. That's also nice. What do we yeah, get rid of here? Play. Uh, defend, perhaps? It doesn't really matter. You're going to drop back. Okay. So... Pfft. It's the idea to do a bit of damage with Pomo. I mean, first. Yeah. Yeah, do that first, and then you play your things, draw back to 10 cards. Oh, in the blood for blood, that's too. That's so nasty, dude. You can play it all, man. You can play it all. And then. Bing, bang, boom. Huge hit. This is too. I don't even want to know how much damage. Ah, bro. Okay. Well. Good. Solid. Yeah. All right. And then now he weakens you. He dares spit in thine face. Um, alright. And you've still got the impervious for on a turn that yeah. you get smacked. It's really good. I just, uh, yeah, I would, I would focus on re vulnerable here. Because, like, in one of these next few turns, you're just gonna, like, blood for blood into pommel, into blood for blood into pommel. Like, you're just gonna Oi. cycle, cycle, cycle. So I think another option or another priority is getting rid of disarm, just so you have less cards. Um, I should have. Through. I should have maybe done that in the reverse order, but fair. Would have done a tiny bit more damage here. There's, here it comes. Yeah, weaken in the blood for blood. Uh, blood no, for blood. no. Do more cards so I do more damage. No. Well, no, because you're gonna redraw it. Trust me, you're gonna redraw. It. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna play dude, it again. My, my deck is so small right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Thank you. That's. And honestly, now you pommel. Yeah, that's honestly a failure of mine. Yeah. No, oh, you're good, you're good. We're learning. And then you pommel. And then you can redraw. And then you can... Uh, Is there... A, hold and up, then... hold up, hold up, hold up. Could I blood, shrug, blood? I could. No, because you can't draw again. Ah, uh, true. I could not. <laughs> um, is the pommel strikes lethal? Like, like just like, hold for a pommel strike over him? It's 56 plus 30, 30 times 2? Yeah, it looks like you got lethal. Mm, oh. No, I think I'm a bit short, am I not? No, because you got two pommels, so you got 30 times two. Oh, that's right. Plus a 56 yeah, damage. I forgot I had a bit more energy. Sorry. Oh, Look this is that. amazing against the heart. Is it not? Incredible. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. The potion And the potion spell? belt, too. Because sometimes uh, yeah. fairy in the bottle can feel just, like, heavy. Yeah. It yeah, yeah. It limits you. You're, you're, yeah, yeah. You don't want to, mm -hmm. like, get another potion or buy another potion. That's maybe not so good. Very good. Um, okay. Not going to lie. Um... Body slam becomes a bit more relevant with uh, impervious, but like the chances that these two cards will line up are yeah. small, Still so we don't a want this. Bit meh. I I also think you'd agree that this is a upgrade hungry card. Yes. So we don't want it. Drop kick. In flame is okay to consider. Yeah, I was gonna talk about it last because I think it's maybe the best option, but I'm not too sure. Sure. Uh, drop kick is very nice, mm. but. It's also the kind of card that's like a oh you know like doing more doing more doing more and we're we're fighting the time lord so maybe that's not very yeah good. it's like what your deck is doing right now is like you're doing a big burst yeah and then you have a small deck left that allows you to like play blood for blood over and over again dropkick uh -huh. really isn't helping in that no. cycle like it's helping cycle it, but it's it, cycling itself isn't, you know like isn't flame helping though i mean it will help it, a bit for the big fiend fire but is it worth it'll help for the big fiend fire and it'll also help with the pommels that are going to help you redraw your blood for blood pommels. but yeah. again it's not necessarily uh, uh mandatory and it also helps your reaper all right keep in mind we're gonna it's not get mandatory to, we're gonna get uh, another extra relic that maybe makes strength super 
relevant, so maybe this is good. There's, there's a possibility. I mean, like, again, I think it's just because it, the only reason I'm considering it is because it's upgraded already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's it's sitting there, it's upgraded, it's a power, it's something you may need. Do, but... we, do, we, do we take it or fuck it? I think you can take it. Okay. You take a left here. Wait. No. Do we take I'd go a... left, yeah. Hold up. Yeah, there's no reason, the... right? Yeah, the left just gives you option. Oh, <gasps> that's so nice. This is really good, well, right? Well, the second one isn't, but the first one is great. Uh, yeah, this one's not very good because <laughs> we do have the coffee dripper. Is there a chance we could lose this somehow? Probably not, so this is not going to happen. Very rare, yeah. 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 Well, but it's still taken. I mean, thank you, Black Star, but it's okay. I mean, this does help a lot with the sword and, I mean, the spear and shield. Right? Oh, yeah. And it's just going to make, like, your ability to burst things down so yeah. much more it's, Yeah, so necessary. true. All right, here we go. Oh, hello, old friend. Nice. Welcome back. Is this a Thunderclap Reaper moment? Just draw to... first just to see what you get, just to see if like you oh. find any different mm. options. I mean, yeah, upgrading it just uh, makes Secret it Secret Weapon better. won't let me draw, right? Even, even No, well, because it's not draw, it's, it's adding it to your hand. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't you know that. Mm -hmm. uh, what would we want in this situation? What would, what would um, set us up nicely? I think that you could uh, like Reaper Cleave in order to just like kill these guys, but you could also say Cleave for next turn. Yeah. Um, also, I think Reaper Thunderclap does kill. So you could, in that sense, here's like a wicked one, is you could draw Blood for Blood because it you're going to kill both of the guys and you're yeah. also going to be healthy. So you're not going to be taking damage immediately this turn. or So you'd have to take damage next turn and then be able to play it the turn after and by that time you already reshuffled your deck so putting a useless card in your hand in order to not draw a useless card is effective jesus christ dude the fact that i was even half able to follow what the fuck you just said <laughs> scares me but fair he's getting so good it's like you're not gonna play offering here right like it's not a good offering because you're not drawing anything so no. like, i mean honestly yeah. i could even play blood for blood and just burst this bastard down look at the energy count that i have thanks to my little lantern and all the stupid shit yeah i mean you could it's just like are you that confident that you're gonna be able to get like a big fiend fire off next turn when you just played battle trance and you have offering in your hand i don't think you're going to be able to no goodness gracious um, Technically, you should have reapered first, but that doesn't really matter. I wouldn't use it. You're not drawing. No, not not just for the f blood for blood. Mm -mm. Six, no, save six, it so you can. Yeah. You're not drawing anything, so yeah, yeah just, save just, it for just, like just, a big fiend fire. Just for the energy, no? Shouldn't I just take my chance to do like whatever the fuck damage this is gonna do now? Uh, go for it. Go for it. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. You're right that it it will get you within a decent amount of range. My thing is just like you don't have a whole lot of draw left in your drop out, but I think you, I think there is a small chance that you could get it, and then you do save health in the long run. I, th I think that that it's actually valuable. You're right, you are actually okay. correct. I, it's not like I want to be right, but you've in the past you've been so happy to just sacrifice health for blood, and it's worked out super well. So that's why I was surprised you didn't suggest it. Let's see how it works out. Maybe it's also only five HP because of your tungsten rod. Oh, wow. I Holy. Didn't realize. Damn, dude, it's working out. All right, armaments, because why not, right? Just to upgrade the Ascender's main, maybe? Is there a reason why I shouldn't do this? No. 33. All right, let's I just see. had a guy come in my chat and said, this was you all along. You sound so smart now, and your voice sounds so great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um... What a compliment. That's nice. Uh, always use your other draws first before Warcry. And also, Warcry is net negative on number of cards in your hand, so it's, yeah. it's fiend fire. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I think you have lethal, though. I think you did, in fact, draw lethal. Let's see. Um, this would be five times. Um, Wait, it'll where's... be 15 times what? Oh, no, you don't quite. It's not lethal. What if... You draw something incredible. I mean... <laughs> this kind of works out. Could I just shrug it off and see if anything amazing comes up? No, you're going to draw the card you just put on top. You just Warcry. But didn't Warcry exhaust? No, but you Warcry puts a card on top of your deck. Oh, I f which one did I put? I forgot. It was a Defend, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah, sorry. I, it's I, I don't think in those terms too well. No, uh, what well, does your draw pile look like right now? Let's Let's look at it for a second. Okay. Your draw pile has good AoE. Yeah. No. Nope, it has this a feel is not, no pain. 
It's not ideal. This no. is not an ideal drop pile. You're in a pretty shit position. But that being um, said, isn't it okay to block, take a bit of damage, fiend fire this guy, and we're likely to kill it next turn by just power of pummel, anger, cleave? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think if, if yeah, I think I think that's not a terrible idea. Should I consider this a chance. push? Nah. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, well, let's hope we're right. I think you have it. You absolutely have it. Um, do I need to bash him first, maybe? Yeah, Seems like bash it, into right? pommel into anger. I think that's lethal, right? I'll be sad if it's not. I'm not smoking anything right now. Don't worry. That was beautiful. Nice. Hey, yo. Oh, that's so good. All up. Let's and a snack oil, too. Oh, man. Second right. um, shrug it off isn't bad, but I mean, we're starting to run into problems where we, we have limited draw anyway because of mm -hmm. um, battle trance. So maybe, yeah. I didn't see the three cards. I was I was looking at an alert. What was what were the other cards? Uh, Combust and oh, anger, yeah. which I don't think really merits. Shrug any. plus is like eh, it's like getting there. Like shrug plus like has some value. I think you could take a, a shrug plus. I think you could. It's oh. fine. You only have twenty five cards in the deck. Okay. But those uh, relics are amazing. Those relics are so. Cool. Really. That's incredible. Okay. Wait. Wait. Kalipur is actually really good. I realized just now why. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't perfect. see it. Because now we can have a big turn where we exhaust 25 cards, get 60 billion block, and it's not wasted all at the end of the next turn if there's nothing. Yeah, that's nice, right? Is that where your head was at, or...? Mm hmm yeah. Oh, uh, we rest here 100%, right? Wait, um... Is this one of my last chances to use a recall? Maybe I should. Do you always use it on your last one, or...? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's better to smith now than... Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to heal ever, so I... There's never a situation now where recall now is better. It's always better to take the recall later. Just in case the one upgrade we do now helps us in the couple fights until the next one, right? Yeah. Okay, so Smith. What do we Smith up? I think I think Impervious, like the value of Impervious goes up a little bit just because of calipers. So I think that, that's Very something true. to consider. Um, okay. I think Disarm gets better, like going towards like the heart fight. Um, especially also going towards Time Eater. I think it's really insanely good against Time Eater. I think it's good against Awakened One as well. It's good also if you can like eventually chip through the the shit of of Dono and Deca. Um, okay. I think I think Disarm is probably your best shot esque thing really? right now. Wow. Okay. So we upgrade Disarm? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's just a really good upgrade. It seems so small, but like it over multi attacks, it just matters so much. Um. I mean, our chances to get a second boss fight here are Bird Bastard, which does multi attacks like every other turn. No? Mm -hmm. And then yeah, pretty much. Donu and Deca, which, as you said, they, you have to get through some stuff. Um, fight or question mark? Um, you haven't seen a lot of the pretty good question marks in Act 3, so I'd probably take a question mark. If it's a shop, we also heal twice thanks to the meal ticket, which would be sweet, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I would take this, I think. I love that thinking. Yeah? Okay. I think you're solid strong, and you don't care about taking a lot of damage either. Oof, um, hold up, though. Oh, Ooh, so yeah. Good. So um, good. Offering first, absolutely. Yeah, two seconds. I right, think it through. Uh, we could get rid of some of the cheap cards, like Anger, maybe Armaments now. And then mm. when we're done, Battle Chance fill up. Mm -hmm. Or Han. Uh, maybe, maybe, well, yeah. yeah. Then Thunderclap, then Fiendfire, one yeah. of them. <laughs> up in flames. Yeah? Was that's that so exactly thinking? thinking too. No, I, I like that thinking amazingly, yeah. Uh, is there any reason, uh, is there any difference between these two? Not quite, right? Other than the HP being. Yeah, just, yeah, the amount of HP, yeah. Uh, They're both doing the same attack. They're both going to put burns in your draw pile. I'll start. I'll probably with... armaments first. Before the anger? Upgrading angers. Yeah, upgrade the anger. Make more angers. That are also huh. upgraded. Huh. Huh. Make your anger baby stronger. Wouldn't wouldn't I want to get rid of anger? Maybe something else than battle trance and upgrade that maybe? No. Nah. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Boom. 
Uh, I mean, they're already vulnerable. Maybe a cleave and a battle? I mean, oh, we still have so much stuff. This will draw four, which means I would ideally want to have six, right? So I want to use one yeah, more if you card. Play it, well, if you play it right now, you'd have six, and so it will draw to full of the... If you think about it, right? Like, if you yeah. have seven cards in your hand, yeah, and you yeah, play yeah. the seventh card. Yeah. I could draw a Feel No Pain, which would be... No, I can't draw that. I could draw a Reaper, then Reaper Fiendfire. How do we feel about that? I Since... like instead Impervious Fiendfire so that you get the Calipers block. I see that. Yeah. Wait, shouldn't I work? No, I won't draw anything. I don't remember. Okay, okay. Um, well, okay, can you explain why? I, I kind of trust you, but I also. You're just setting up for the next turn to have a lot of block because, right. like, you're doing like your big combo this turn. Well, so you're just giving yourself a lot of block because you're gonna have the calipers, yeah. and then. So it's basically yeah. the same result, but maybe a bit more consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Exactly. And then I think. Oh, you could have killed the more HP. Oh. That's oh. fine. Oh, I. You're really strong. Oh, I hope you're right. You Oops. are really strong. Jesus. Um, any reason why? What's your draw pile look like? Nah, yeah, right. Nah. Yeah, I think you should go for the damage, probably, just to like guarantee the kill next turn. Yeah. Oh, that was a solid idea, Jesus. Um, I mean, this is free, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'd probably look to inflame and then just start drawing shit, see what you get, and so, um, remember that this is like basically an elite fight, so it's yeah. okay if you want to like use a potion or something, but also you're not taking that much damage. Um, What's better? Here? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get the Reaper off. I think you're just looking to draw something that kills. We're gonna take. We're gonna take eighteen. Uh, fourteen, seven. Mm -hmm. I'm taking seven. If I do this, oh, hey. Sure, and fun. Take Would you look at that? We took one damage. Take one. Wow, how will we ever recover? So, 49 gold, unceasing top. This is maybe... Yeah. You don't like it? <laughs> it's it's just not going to be that it's useful. Not, like, yeah. it, okay. For a rare relic, like you were fighting a hard fight for a rare relic. Like, eh. Yeah, I get it. Eh. Uh, we do have a lot of green potions, though. So, if you like color green, that's awesome. I'm color green. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> um, well, we take don't it, it but I don't think any of these cards are it. Nah. Move on. Agreed. Shop time, heal a little Great bit. Shop. Full health. Let's go. Okay, uh, so you want to learn a lesson about Brimstone? Yeah, go on. Every single time that you see Brimstone, early on in an Ironclad run. Yeah? Every single time. Go on. If you are not going for the heart, you will click on it. But if you're going for the heart, very rarely will you click on it. But if you're not going for the heart, you're clicking on it because uh, it is a guaranteed win. If early on right now, your yeah. deck is kind of doing big hits, not scaling yeah, the yeah. strength. But like you do have like the Reaper and, and stuff to like stabilize and whatever, whatever. But like, yeah, if you see that early on, that is a, that is a free win because things early on in like act one, they don't do multi attacks. So they're not scaling off of strength nearly as well as you can. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, upgrading yeah. your strike from six to eight is plus thirty two percent damage. The gremlin up upgrading twenty four to twenty six is not that much. Okay. Um, understood. Uh, Eternal feather. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, barricade. Barricade. I mean, we have a budget barricade with calipers, so maybe it's not so useful. Um, I so there's there's two thoughts behind that. Okay. One. You make so much fucking block with like entrench and stuff that removing 15 off of 999 is not that big of a deal. Okay. So yeah, you don't care about the barricade. There's also the thought that in order to get barricade rolling, you need a block source. And maybe if like you need to block a hit and you play your impervious and you get 15 block left for next turn or something, that you can then barricade the next turn and have 15 block already on your barricade. Does that make sense? No, none whatsoever. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, be, we're we're uh, so late into this run. Like yeah. we've been here for almost four hours. Like yeah. it's it's understandable that your brain is cooked right now. Yeah, Mine is a also little, a little bit a mushy. A little bit. I mean, so far yeah. though, we've we've <laughs> done a beautiful management of risk and reward. So also also, um, yeah. we really like the idea right now with our current potion setup of finding an artifact potion, right? I understand. We're finding a panacea, and so going into the hard fight. If we were to have plus 10 dexterity, 
that barricade looks incredible. Like, if we were to find some sort of artifact... I never even thought able... about that. That's yeah. true. So right now with our setup and, like, the way that we're looking at things, we can be thinking about the hard fight. I don't think barricade's bad. I think with the amount of cycle that you have right now, the amount of draw you have, even if it's, like, a quote-unquote dead card and you're not able to play it a lot, it's easy for you to cycle past it and whatnot. And I don't think it's a terrible play here, but I also do think that there is the thought of just saving all your money for Act 4 and getting something better. Um, Let's remove a card, which I think is the safe idea, right? Absolutely. I mean, um, again, you're trying to think about, right? Like, think about your win conditions. Yeah. And your win one of your win conditions right now is the Smiling Mask making everything really cheap. Because right now, your removal costs like 150. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Like, I understand. So, like, by it being so cheap, like, this is a win condition, is like getting your deck down to less. Less yeah, of this thing. I understand. Uh, I think we want to remove the strike, given that we have dexterity, dexterity, and, you know, that could be a big deal. If we get one block on a bad turn, I mean, th this block can block for, what, 15? Like, that's that's nice, right? So, maybe remove yeah. strike? Ah, that's fine. Okay. I don't think there was a wrong answer. Okay, um, can I ask a question? I have never used this card as part of a <laughs> successful uh, deck. Is it just bad? I don't remember mm. your rating. The, 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 where where yes, would we want this? No, the the late game perspective of it is like extremely uncommon that it's going to be useful because it's just kind of like a really shit fiend fire. It's a, is, um, it, is it like a, oh I draw a bunch of like status cards and I just think that it's not to be considered for like a win condition, right? Like okay. the card Carnage, right? The the big attack Hi, that Bobby exhausts Thank if you, you don't use it. Yeah, sure. It's not a win condition, but it's like okay to take early to like. Yeah, you need that early. That helps a lot early. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think Sever Soul can go in that pool. Okay. Of it's really good against Gremlin Knob because oh, it's going right. to get rid of your shit cards so that you redraw Sever Soul and not redraw a defended. Right. You know, blocks for I one. I never thought of that. So, cool. Yeah, it can be pretty good early. Okay. And it also is class synergy. Yes. Got it. <laughs> um. All right. So it looks like we don't take anything else. Then save all the money and see how that goes. It's fine. Let's do it. I think Chrysalis was also okay there, but... I thought about it, because we do want to have a big uh, deck of cards to, you know... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, starting ahead. This is nice. Yeah. Um, do we automatically default to Feel No Pain and try to draw stuff and use Secret yeah. Weapon and whatnot? Especially since the guy in the back is always... So the guy in the back that gives the, the Repeater, I think that's what they're called? Repulsor. Um... They give you wound or they give you dazes yeah. based on the amount of dazes in your draw pile. So if there's like not what? a lot, they're always gonna want to put more. Oh. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. So like the feel no pain is just like it's free. It's it's so good into them, right? Yeah. Right. And then um, yeah, the front guy is just gonna start smacking you if you don't smack him, so start smacking him. Do we want Cleave, Thunderclap? Maybe Cleave is hitting them quite hard here. Cleave's not terrible. All right, let's do that. I'd probably play Inflame first. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um. Um. Is it crazy to think that maybe I should block then cleave so I don't take the damage from this? I mean, no, I already You're have. No, it. I'm so good actually. <laughs> um. In that case. Um, yeah. And then disarm's probably the better card on the spiker because it gives you the block and everything, but also just because like it's helping you thin out yeah, your deck yeah, so yeah. that you can get to the things you need. Or... Well, well, nice. well. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this will damage me seven times every damage we yep. do. So maybe it's not yep. the best it will idea do the, ever. It'll also do the damage before the feel no pain block. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So armaments. Impervious. Yummy, yummy. And we have what? I oh, 35. That's ridiculous. Um... We're, we're so good, honestly. We can't fuck this up, can we? Nope. I'm trying to be cautious just in case I make a huge blunder. But... <laughs> right, so anger, unnecessary. War cry, maybe if it wasn't the Time Lord, maybe? Yeah. Um, I mean, it always could be the Time Lord because you don't know what the second boss is and that's always a huge fuck you, right? Yeah. Like, don't, don't you feel like that's a frustrating part of A20? Is, so, that, is that a huge source of frustration? Thank you, Nick, by I, the way. Can I fuck your brain even more? Yeah. Um, so when I play Slay the Streamer, uh, my chat gets to pick my bosses, right? <laughs> and they, when they pick the boss, they're picking... They're like, counterpicking. The well, no, they're, they're counterpicking, but the, the seed also knows what the bosses were supposed to be. 
So <gasps> if the first boss was supposed to be Donudeka and yeah. then they make it Time Eater, yeah. the second boss can still be Time Eater. So sometimes I just fight two of the same boss. <laughs> Is that super annoying? <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah, uh, we don't want Whirlwind here, even though we can get a bit of chunky energy. Would we want it? Nah. Nah. Probably not. No. It doesn't go too well with our strategy. Uh, which of the fires do we rest in? Super important. Mm, yeah, yeah, big tech here. I'll let you decide and then tell you if you're wrong. Uh, middle? Correct. That's nice. So cool. Good job. I've been listening this whole time. Wait, 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 wait. We're... Wait. Recall. Oh, shit. <sighs> we're going to the... Sorry, we're going to Agfor. Sorry about that. I'll need to We're going to make it. We're going right. to do it. I hope you're right. We can do it together. This sucks, man. Or we'll crash I'm, and burn I together. I give up already. <laughs> uh, uh, good. Uh, so using snake oil early is typically a big no-no, because if you get a bad draw, you're stuck with that the whole time, correct? Yeah, unless your deck just, like, is okay with it. Yeah. Like, some decks that are, like, more expensive, higher value. But, um, yeah, you're kind of wanting, like, guaranteed to be able to get off your things on the first rotation of draw. Uh, blood for blood, some damage, shrug it off, see what comes up. Shrug it off first. Oh. Not bad. Yeah, now you can grab a pommel strike and see if you can find something bigger. Okay. Because so you just want to, like, you're just, like, while you have this free turn, like, you just want to find your pieces. Your in flames, your feel no pains, your whatever. Um, I would not play that right now. I would just armaments and pass, probably. Not the blood for blood for 33 damage? No. Why? Can I... Uh, because you're setting up right now for just like a small bit of caliper since you're going to be vulnerable next turn. You could even play the defend plus. It's also not terrible. Okay. 16 block next turn against a, like a 31 damage hit, 48 damage hit. Uh, is, this, is this always the case, by the way? Could you give me a bit of the rundown of this boss? I feel like every time you say something about enemy behavior, I learn something, so. Yeah, um, so Time Eater just has three attacks. Big attack that makes you draw less. The turn that makes you frail, that, weak, that, and that's vulnerable. That's that stack, by the way. The less that, they can't do it twice in a row. But it does stack. What do you mean? Like if if he hits me with the debuff, that makes me draw less, mm -hmm. and then he hits me again with that at some point later. Do I eventually? It's only for one turn. Oh, it's only one turn of draw. Ah, I never, I never understood that. Thank you. No, you, you're fine. So, um, big attack. Yeah. And then uh, the multi-attack, which I think that they can do the multi-attack two times in a row. I think that's the only one that they can do two times in a row. And that's like the, the best case scenario. The multi-attack's mm -hmm. easy, especially since you have things like disarm and yeah. whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I it sucks when you get this cycle that is like vulnerable, big attack, vulnerable, big attack, vulnerable, big attack. And it happens so fucking often. It pisses me off. It makes me angry. When does the vulnerable come? Uh, the vulnerable comes on the turn that they get the block, so they give themselves block, and then they give you. Uh, so that's the third. That's the third round. option: big attack, multi attack, yeah. block and bulner. Mm -hmm. It must be really nice to have the anti vulnerability relic then, against this fight, right? Or what's it called the the tulip? I mean the the turnip or something? Yeah. That's the anti frail, yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, um, so yeah, I'd be I'd like just dig right now for like offering your feel no pain, just like. Drawing for things that may help you a little bit. That helps. Add shrug first and see if you get feel no pain. Yeah. Okay, keep, so keep now it. this turn we know that we're going to play five more cards in order to be able to cycle them and yeah. get them over through this. So yeah, we're playing offering. We're, um, I would play uh, inflame first so that you... Actually, no, you have five cards. Never mind, never mind. You okay, can okay. play offering. Sorry, 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 sorry. No worries, was, no worries. My brain's art. Okay, that's pretty, Perfect. that's pretty good case scenario. Feel no pain, mm -hmm. disarm, uh, intimidate... Yeah, you're gonna pull block this turn. Okay. Just watch that counter to make sure you don't yeah. um, do something wrong. I would intimidate now and just and see like how much damage or... we're looking at. I would oh. intimidate just to see how much damage we're looking at. Helps you from having to do math. Yeah. See now oh, you can inflame. Oh. You're gonna take like what? Three damage? Uh two damage. Am I gonna take any damage? I'm gonna take no damage, I think. No, because they're gonna buff themselves. Oh at the at the end of the cycle. Of... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, I, I kind of failed to think ahead of uh, ahead You're sometimes. Perfectly fine. Okay. Bonk. One damage. No biggie. Hey, you're getting the fun cycle. Let's go. How come? <laughs> vulnerable big attack. Vulnerable big attack. Vulnerable big attack. Have fun losing. What? 
What? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you? I'm so sorry. I'm really not following. Uh, there's a out. there's a bad cycle of attacks where they just never do like the the. They just continuously give you vulnerable and then do their best attack afterwards, and then give you vulnerable and then do their best attack, and it's just really shit. Is because that, is that it, what's happening to us right now? Yeah, we're just getting stuck in the loop. Oh, okay. we're getting stuck in the time loop, if you will. <laughs> okay, so do we want to thunder pummel blood or whatever, or pummel always first just in case we draw something cool? Um, I mean, we're trying to set up for next turn being able to block things, so I don't really think you need to pummel because you don't want to draw like you're impervious or something. Really? Oh. Yeah. So do I? I just think you're just gonna go for damage this turn because okay. you're at you're at like your maximum stats right now. So like. Yeah. This is your your you're at your big big boy status. Yeah, that that kind of big attack. It's just it eludes me sometimes. Uh, shit. Do I want to? I mean, this will block for like four, but it's looking pretty. Pathetic. Yeah, you definitely want to play it. No, is it a time it now to, to maybe out. consume one of the speed potions or hang on to them just in the off chance? I was a bit late here. Um, I think you can hang on to them because going to low HP for you, remember, is not terrible. Yeah, that's true. You have the Reaper to get some HP back. You like being in Red Skull Zone. Do I use the... Nah, I don't. Nah, I don't think so. Get five cards next turn. We're doing all right. Okay. <clears throat> what a great turn. You might be able to draw into like a lot more stuff and then be able to play it. Do you like draw Battle Trance here? It'd be a decent feat to yeah. Is that a play? Um, I would play Warcry first, because now, since Warcry is upgraded, it's technically net plus one draw. Yeah, understood. Get rid of the slime, perhaps? Yeah, yeah and then you can... Um, so you look at the cards, the amount of cards you can maybe, play. Maybe, play three I cards should, here. maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the slime. Wouldn't it be better to burn it this turn, now that I think of it? Um, well, so... I mean, I'm going to draw it anyway, so... Yeah, so there's also the thought of, like... Do you value actually getting Reaper off here, or do you care about not getting Reaper off here? I think we can not give too many shits. Um, if you armaments the Battle Trance, you can draw one more card for the Fiend Fire, and then also you'll still have Battle Trance to be able to draw more uh, cards stupid, in the future. Stupid question. We're Dude. so far from killing this bastard. Is using yep. Fiend Fire right now a solid idea, or? Yes, because what you're gonna do here, that Fiend Fire, is probably going to put them below half HP, so you're not gonna get attacked next turn. Okay. I think. If my math is correct, which it sometimes isn't. Ooh, the impervious draw sucks, but I think you're fine. Yeah. I think you're okay. I mean, is there anything I could do? Nah. Nah, you're fine. The impervious draw just sucks, but things that suck aren't... Also, it's not below half, but it's okay. X, okay. You're okay. We're all right. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think, you're, I think you're just fine just blocking this up and tanking it and going below half HP. Yeah, I, I use all my cards here, right? There's no mm -hmm. rhyme or reason to this. Turn is kind of set in stone. Oh, hey! Look at that. What you look at the that? The unceasing top. You said this was the best relic ever, and I believed you. I did. I. It's incredible. We're stuck in the loop still, man. Okay. The first multi-attack! Let's go. So this would have been... Tw well, something like that. It would have been more if we hadn't used the... Mm. The disarm earlier. All right. Um, it looks like we can live. Let's begin with this. No. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not even sure this is worth it. Maybe just survive this turn. Get rid of one yeah. slime. Yeah. Uh, I think four, usually, like four cards is like the minimum card number that I would say. I think it's value. Like one block is not more valuable than playing a slime. Just getting it out of your draw. Um. Plus, it also gives me yeah. block indirectly. So. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we go into the next turn with the yeah. ability to use four cards, which is maybe not too bad. Four is like the the part that I would like, yeah, stick around. Uh, well, now we're at the point where we're gonna want to use this as soon as possible. Is there a chance? There is a big chance that we could draw this there again. There is. So there's a chance here that it's difficult, but with your draw pile, there's a chance that you could kill them next turn. What? It's gonna be really fucking hard. How the fuck? Don't think that the odds are likely in your favor. Okay. Um, but there's a chance, but I wouldn't go for it. I think your goal here is to self-preserve, which is um, looking a little grim with how the attack pattern, but it's okay. Uh, you lose ba runs. Uh, battle trans, armaments, wait. I mean, do I care about upgrading bash, maybe? Battle trans, armaments, blood for blood. Uh, can yeah. Consume slime? Yeah. 
Okay. Big armaments, holy. Um. Shit. Do we consume a slime or hit him with bash? I feel like that might be nah, more because important. If you hit him with bash, again, like I said, there is a chance that we can cycle and kill next turn, but it's so low. Like, it's it's really low, but we can try it. I think, I think because this run is looking just like a slight bit grim i think i think we should go for it i think i think we should bash him here he's under 200 uh, and... don't keep, keep in mind we have the fairy in a bottle right we're gonna mm -hmm. i mean to be fair there's two bosses i don't think we're gonna lose this fight yeah but like we can get out of this fight without using the fairy i think we'll be in incredible shape okay uh, and then next fight is guaranteed aoe so we can heal back like we're doing all right but we're not doing great uh, it's just been an unlucky fight and now okay. yay uh, Look, is, is, it now, is it now the point where it's going to heal up, or am mm -hmm. I stupid? Um, so how much is your blood for blood there? How much is a, a single blood for blood there? It's like 42 damage. So if we can get off five blood for bloods, and or like four blood for bloods and a couple other cards, we'd be in pretty good shape here. How the fuck are we so, going to do that? Snack of oil could potentially get us there, or it could just completely and absolutely fuck us. So I think that they're is merit in both using it and also holding on to it but it's up to you i think no matter what we're gonna make it out in a turn or two but we have the ability to play 12 cards here so there's like a chance oh. but there's also more likely a much more likely chance that we don't do anything here and it's actually just better to is, just there, is there even a point considering he's going to heal should i just pass yeah it's either you kill this turn or you pass so foolish all right, sweet. Being so foolish. Nice, okay. All right, man. Uh, listen, if I want to survive this, I'm pretty sure I can with speed potions. I'm not sure if that's even a, a good idea because he could just kill me next turn immediately anyway. So. Yeah, I think I think that you're going to use two potions versus using one. Yeah. I think that's the way that I look at it, is you're... What the fuck are we doing then? So are I think it's I better to, to just play... Are we, are we trying to thin our deck out of slimes? Yeah, so I think it's literally better to just play three slimes. And then die. Okay. It sucks, but... Wow, it put us... Got a lot of HP now. Yeah. So, yeah. what's my big idea now, dude? How am I not fucked here? Um, you're waiting for a good cycle. Too much. Um, but... Okay. I mean, Shrug helps you get rid of one of the attacks. You could use a potion here. I mean, this is, is it's too late now, but it's fine. It's, you do have some blocking capabilities. Um, the problem here is you can only play four cards, and you can you only have three available in your hand. Like you can only get through three of them. Um, not not exactly not exactly true though, because blood for blood is zero cost. Couldn't I do slime 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 blood? You only have two men. So I think that there. Oh shit! You're right. Is blood. value in playing <laughs> the, way, the, way the blood that. for blood for zero? <laughs> okay. And then blocking and playing a slimed, and then using your Sneko Oil, you're going to draw nothing. There's a good chance that one card will cost zero. Okay. What does it mean you will That's draw... your best answer. Okay. That is, uh, yeah, that I is, get it. You're going to draw nothing because you play Battle Trance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I do this. But I play... I would play the Defend Plus. Defend Plus. And now we pray to Baby Jesus? Uh, I would play one slime. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Bash is huge. Okay. Bash is massive here. Every single thing that you wanted to cause zero, cause zero. That's yeah. so fucking good. That's nice. nice. Incredible. Yeah. All right. The odds are good. Okay. This. Look at us go. Uh, Pommel strike. Open, right? Mm -hmm. Or play yep. the three slime and end the turn and die. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is Thunderclap an idea here even? Since we have a bit of energy. We'll draw first. Just to right. see. Just to, like, get all your options. Get all your bases. Okay. Oh, fuck, oh, yeah, this is good, right? Yeah, this is amazing. You got so much shit that you can play. Uh, doesn't even you're matter. You're setting Do up I... for a kill next turn. I mean, yeah. No, it doesn't matter the order now. Uh, I mean... 
I want to. Yeah, you're just watching your card count here, so I would just play the shrug it off defended armament. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. play that last defend. Bonk, 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 dude. I can already tell. I do. Do you help me navigate through such a jungle of stupid scenarios? I don't know. And we how still might be dead this turn. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> um, I mean, it's looking not too bad, especially if that blood comes right, which is likely. Okay, yeah, it's somewhat likely. Uh, somewhat off. likely that blood comes, or you can. I will. Okay, let's let's think about this for a second. What are we doing if we? Oh, dude. We don't need, draw we, blood for oh, blood. Dude, we also have three cards only. Shit. Um, yeah. So might... I would use one of your speed potions here. Yeah, I was going to say. I think that's say. fine. This is a really hard fight. This was the worst elite fight or the boss fight to find. You're okay. And if you draw the blood for blood here, we just go, ha ha. You didn't. Oh, fuck. It's your last card. Just play the defend. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you play that and draw yeah, blood yeah, for yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I die. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Easy. Oh my god, dude, 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 we're not even <laughs> done, dude. Uh, what did we just heal from? Was it the blood bile? Uh, you're burning blood. And now you're going to heal from the burning blood Burning blood works in between these fights? Okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the sure. Combat. Okay. Bird. Is that the better option we could have had? Um, yes and no. I think they were both had their benefits and uh sorry uh, benefits. Uh, thank you guys you remember my birthday uh, it just it's my birthday right now <laughs> someone is telling me happy birthday in the chat uh thank you guys it's your birthday today yeah it just like right now since it's 12 a.m for me okay um happy okay birthday. uh is uh is using this second power a good idea? Or should we yeah, try to... I think so. I think so just because of uh, Reaper. Thank you, Bree. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit. Oh, no, yeah, no, it's okay. It's... Nobody told me I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's worth it here to just inflame and then thunderclap so that you can uh, set up a big Reaper next turn if you can draw it. That would be sweet. That's your, that's your goal right now, is to yeah. get off the triple reaper with six strength and heal all well, of your HP. What do you know? Look at that. Should we so war cry first? Now we don't have to worry so much about... Should we war cry or maybe save Ooh, sure. it? Yeah. Bit of block. Cry, so. oh, See what happens. Oh, that's yeah. That's amazing, right? Uh, we let's... war cried, and we cried so good. It doesn't matter what you put on top. You're going to drop. Uh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I keep forgetting that. That's fine. I'm here uh, to remind. Offering first. Goodness gracious oh. me. This Intimidate uh. doesn't do much. Happy birthday to such a lovely but I mean, we're drawing, no. so we could. It just, blocks for me. Yeah. Our joke is lucky. Thank it's you so much for the thing. And Koala, thank you guys. You guys don't need to gift anything. Thank you for the good subs, though. <laughs> uh, Kate, sorry. Yeah, it's a massive. Uh, I'll it's do this nice. just because I'm going to fail to max anyway, right? Intimidate? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, is his arm a good idea, or does he shake it off in between faces? Is it even worth it? Maybe just Oops. burn... No. He'll shake it off between phases, but I think it's worth it for now. Okay. I think it's worth it. We have so much energy anyway. Uh, yeah, at the beginning of the fight, he does a times four attack. At do the we, end of the fight, he does a times yeah. three do attack. Do we want to so do a more value. Oh, I'm so sorry that I meant to speak over you. Do I, should I do a shrug it off now or... No, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to yeah, be fine. Yeah, you're going to block fully with Reaper, so you get battle trains. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, so now you can just use Reaper and then cleave and then see what, what you need to clean up, but I don't yeah. think it'll be much. Bros K! Holy shit! Oh, okay. And that is why health is a resource. We're learning. Oh, okay. Uh, so, clean do, you up know, this guy. do you know how these guys are, like, extremely weird? Like, you know how yeah. you can feed on those cultists? Like, they're the one, quote-unquote, extra guy in a fight that you can feed on, right? Like, if you feed on a minion in, like, the Gremlin Leader fight, you don't get the HP. Yeah. But then they also act like a minion, where if you kill the Awakened One, they will run away. I mean, it's I, weird. It's yeah. so weird. You never do it because like, feel, they scale like so a, quickly. Yeah, it's like a non-special yeah. minion, I guess. It's like yeah, a it's special non-minion. Yeah, no, I get that. I mean, dude, if you just kill their boss, what are they going to do, man? Like, <laughs> They don't have a job. You know, they need to go send some resumes. Anyway, really? um, I want to clean this up, right? Yeah, I just clean them up. Um, any reason why I should keep this guy alive? Not um, really. I mean... You can, you're going to draw into AoE eventually, and you're not taking damage from him, so there's like some merit to that. Yeah, I, I'm to kill super paranoid about using cards now, because we just came from a fight where I had to count every one of them. 
anyway. Yeah, that is the problem. Yeah. That's, oh, this is very the... good. I want to start with Bomb of Strike, I believe. Yeah. Well, he's hitting me for a shit ton, though. Okay, now... Is there any attack here that would make a lot of sense for us? Maybe another Bomb of Strike to draw Impervious. Um, or I think you running? need to draw Impervious this turn. I think you can try to save Impervious for, like, the, the turn after am he... I, am, I not getting, am I not getting absolutely pummeled by this? Isn't this, like, 40 damage? Ah, uh, you'll block for it. Uh, you're... Very confident. Uh, should I begin to block them? <laughs> I, I would play secret weapon first because remember you know you you like it exhausting. Yeah. Um, and I think you can grab like an anger maybe. Like this guy really doesn't mind you just like creating thousands of anger in your draw pile. Really? Or you can grab pommel strike to. Yeah, it's fine. You can grab pommel strike too. It's it's all the same. It's, yeah. Um, okay. And then I would armaments all of this. Thank you, little witch. You would armament all of this. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, now just... end with a shock. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we're still taking a bit of a beating. Well, not really. It's a multi-attack, which means it it gets blocked with tungsten rod, and then you also want your blood for blood to start costing zero. And... Okay, fair, 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 yeah. fair. All right. Um, call up. Okay. I don't hate the idea of using this right now. Do I? Would this be a good turn to fiend fire? No. Um. Yeah, you'd want a thunderclap first, but it's not a terrible turn. Just look at the look at your draw pile right now. What do you have left? Nah. Yeah, that's a that's no, that's a really really good thing because now you're just gonna be able to cycle through pommel, the blood pommel, for blood with blood the pommels, blood, which is it's something I yeah. didn't realize until you pointed it out that that was like our secondary like our plan B after we do that shit. Yeah. Um. Okay. I think it's fine. Um, and then you're getting rid of both of the angers too, so nothing's gonna duplicate. So you yeah, can get that yeah, no, it's you actually fairly convenient. Plus, I'm gonna block for a shit ton, which is not gonna really carry over, but I mean, it's gonna send me this turn. Right. So, oh, dude, this is so good. I start with this. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I have to. I start with this, then I try to yep. draw it again. Dude, this is insane. And then uh, if you shrug it off? I can... You can get back to it. I, can I? <gasps> yeah. Oh! What the hell, dude? And then you're you're just building up like your alternative forms of block too with... I uh, mean, I would need the, to do this, but that's... You the, think that's yeah. worth it? Yeah. Yeah, because then you get it one more time for... Oh, oh so unlucky! Ornamental uh, fan. That was really unlucky. A one in five. It's incredible. Okay. It, was, it was time that you're luck right now. Okay. Even even having a good day. Bonk. Bonk. Um, needs to be. I mean, it's a one and two, but do we take it? No, hold I think, up. I think you can. Yeah, shrug I it can off do and this then... and then this, and now it's guaranteed that. Wait, no, I can't. I still got a bit unlucky. <laughs> it's okay. Oh damn it! You can just block. You can uh, just block. It's fine. As long this, as you're doing more than this, fifteen damage yeah. a turn, it doesn't matter. They heal for fifteen, like. Yeah, plus this enemy doesn't scale at all right, nope. just yet. So if I'm not, like, in crisis, I am doing a okay, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think you need to Thunderclap. I think I think you can use Blood for Blood and then save your mana for trying okay. to use Block. Yeah, so just, to, just to see if I can use it one more time. Yeah, uh, I'd save the Impervious still, and I think if you can just redraw to, like, Shrug it off or just, like, play to defense here, like... It's just a bit unlucky. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. We can get unlucky a few times. Uh, We've got I mean, a lot of HP. There's one car there to upgrade, just... Okay. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look so... Oh! I mean, it yeah, will you, work. If you, yeah, if you draw this and then you draw um, Blood for Blood, you can Thunderclap Blood for Blood. And kill him. We're almost there. Wait, you got him. no, I got it. Nice. Yeah. And then next turn, you have Impervious. Uh, okay, so could you walk so me a little to... bit through what I need to look out for in the second phase? I understand that during the transition, he loses any poison or debuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and then maintains the strength. So the difference here is the little attack, the single attack is going to be uh, slightly less damage, but it's going to put a void in your discard pile, or in okay. your draw pile, sorry. Yeah. Um, which isn't necessarily bad for you. It's four free block, it just gets rid of one of your energy, it's fine. Okay. Um, or he's going to do a times three attack, which is slightly more damage per attack, but is only times three. So um, yeah, that's why the disarm is... Yeah. yeah. 
And as long as the disarm doesn't go below zero, they're not going to like shed off the strength that you got rid of. So since you used two powers and gave them strength and then disarmed, yeah. it didn't matter. So there's still this as much disarmed as before. So I'll just use your pommel strike until you find impervious. You're guaranteed to find it because you have battle trance if you don't draw it here. Do I want to use it now? Yeah. Is there? Is there? This is the one last big hit he has. When really? he, when he, when he, yeah. So when he oh. re, when he, when he, when he reanimates, he does one giant attack, and then he goes into the cycle of little, little single attack and big, multi attack. Okay. So you just have to deal with this one thing, and then there's like a little bit scary, but this is the scariest hit. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm writing that down. I find that useful. Small attack yeah. plus uh, void into multi-attack. The multi-attack has no other side effects. Just tap, tap, tap. Okay. Yeah. Let's find out. Dark echo. All right. Uh, well, it's speaking, I guess. And now you have one less card too. So your cycle will be easier. How, why is that? Because you got rid of, you got, you played impervious. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't understand. What no was. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Um. Yeah, so he can do his small attack two times and then he's uh, guaranteed to do the multi-attack. Um, but he can't do the multi-attack twice, I don't believe, but it's just a weird little pattern. Uh, we block You can draw that. Fully. Do you have blood for blood in your drop pile? Oh, no, you don't. There's a small chance that you draw it, though. Oh, nice. Good call. Yep. And there's the big attack, which 13. you block pretty much fully for with your defense, so. Um, should I play more defensively here? Yeah, I think so. Because in between that and then that, it's Almost. gonna gain 15 HP back, but like you're gonna lose barely anything. Seven. And then you get hey. red skull range, and now you're ready to pound. Almost. Oh, he can do the multi attack twice. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Oh no, he's a terrible teacher. Kill him. That's what everybody was thinking, I think. So insane, dude. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. all of what and we're then doing just here. They do defense. Yeah. Dude, the defense were actually have actually come a bit in clutch. Okay. I think you can probably play thunderclap on this rotation. I think you'll be all right. Okay. Do a little bit extra damage. Pommel him. I'd pommel here. That's fine. Um, sorry, I wanted to play a bit more. No, you're fine. Uh, here's a thing though. I would play thunderclap again. Take this. Take the five. It's fine. Okay. Make him vulnerable for next turn. So if he does the big yeah, attack, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you might maybe, just be able to burst him down and kill him. Yeah. Okay. I kind of follow. Yeah. I think you. Yeah. I think you have a pretty decent chance here of just killing him if you just start cycling and get a decent cycle. I think you have a decent chance. If not, you have a lot of block. So. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But no, I th you can still get it because if you draw here, that's like 50 damage, and then if you just do the if you battle trans into it, it's one and four. Mm. Let's go. You know how happy I am that you've gotten to Act Four on the first round that I'm coaching you, because there's a chance that we just get unlucky and you die. Yeah, in act one over no, and over and over and it wouldn't again. have been anyone's fault, and it would have been perfectly natural, and it would have been perfectly terrible. <laughs> that but might consistently, just... since I've coached people, we've gotten very far in most runs. So maybe it's like the teacher's like pretty good or something. Uh. Well. Uh, yeah, if I don't get the, anything, if I fine. don't get this challenge within a week, I am suing. I hope you realize. Okay. Well, I made you at perfectly 69 HP, so you're fucking welcome. Uh, it's gonna go up in the shop because we have a ticket. Yeah. Um. So I mean, nothing to do here, right? Just. Um. I think the battle trans upgrade is probably the best here because it's the one card. Yeah, that the you one thing we're last fight doing. with armaments. Yeah. Well, it's the one card that you didn't upgrade with armaments because you want to like draw and then like. It. So, so yeah, I think it's the, the best upgrade here. Uh, battle trans. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I would have come to the same conclusion, but I think I would have. <laughs> All right. I know hand drill is your favorite thing. Uh, farming clay, I hear, is very good in this fight, right? Yeah, but, it's, pretty, it's pretty good coming up. Uh, panic button, I also think, is very nice. 
Panic button's so fucking good, especially with calipers. With calipers, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have Berserk, uh, double tap, which I'm not gonna lie, it's like, it's a bit of an idea, no? Because. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, I think it could definitely be really good, especially later into your draw cycle as you are playing two Blood for Bloods. Yeah. And then also, if you get it upgraded with armaments, you'll play two Blood for Bloods and then you'll draw two with um, with that. Here's yeah, another there, thing. There's a problem. Yeah, no, we, no, can't, no. we can't buy both, though. Go ahead. Another thing is uh, Dropkick actually synergizes pretty well with Double Tap. Um, oh, just from being able to like gain two energy off of one card and then be able to cycle, but it's not like super good, so I wouldn't probably wouldn't take it. Um, I think right now the better play. We can panic button. Oh, I don't know. We can dude. buy panic button, remove a card, and still have left over to maybe buy a potion. We yeah. unfortunately I think attack not... potion could be really, really solid. Yeah, we unfortunately did not come across any um, forms of artifact, which we were looking out pretty desperately for. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, all right. Bunny button. Card removal. What do we hate here? Is there any card that just loses all of its value in this fight? Or that it's not even worth the couple damage cost? I've never played against Ascension 20 hard. Only the weaker <laughs> one, so that's gonna fucking kill me. Yeah. Um, uh, Nexus, thank you for I the thirty-two. The by the way, defend is probably really shit, but also defend. Raid up, bash kind of sucks with dick. Yeah, it's really not been doing so much. Then bash, again, bash does. It's just it's just harder to play. I think I think bash is. It has to go. Probably. I mean, don't you think that, that if, it, if it get if it gets upgraded, it, the, the the long vulnerable is maybe better than thunderclap or? Yeah. We, no, should, I should I, should I also get, think that's fine. Should I we think, get rid I think of Defend Warcry, is... maybe, because we... It's kind of awkward in this fight, or... Or am I... No, I think it's fine. I, I think you can get rid of Defend. I think you want to get rid of something that makes your cycle easier. Um, especially since you're going to have a wound and a burn in your draw pile now. Uh, in the in the final fight. Uh, so... So... Oof, I mean, our best case scenario is, is from this uh, elite fight, we find, like, a Burning Pact or a True Grid or something. Burning Pact. So that we can get rid of the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we can like get yeah, our yeah, cycle yeah. Some, down to some like minuscule yes, levels. You mean like some some form of like concentrated like you get to choose mm -hmm. the um, exhaust. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, get rid of the fan then. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Everybody in my chat saying cleave is useless, bro. We got the act four elites. <laughs> yeah, no, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, it's it's a pretty good thing coming up, man. Um. We can afford... I, think, I think Distilled Chaos and Attack Potion are the best ones. Just whichever one This you would put an attack that we can recycle, right? And if we get the right one, that could be huge. Yeah. Imagine if we get another yeah. Fiend Fire. Well, maybe not. Yeah. But... No, I think it's perfectly fine. Or another Blood for Blood. Yeah, that, that's true. Uh... I think that's good. But I also think that the Distilled Chaos is probably more... So the Attack Potion is more focused on the Heart Fight. And the yeah. distilled cast is more focused on the Act Four elites because those guys you just need to you need oh. to fucking go. Yeah. Those guys are scary. These guys yeah. might kill us. Oh shit! We do have preserve insect. Does that not help us a little bit? It does. All right. Let's see what happens. So the main reason why uh, the the main difference in this fight versus other fights is on turn one, the spire spear is going to put two burns on the top of your draw pile. Oh, so really? your turn two, you draw three cards. You get you draw three cards against a forty damage attack, and sometimes the spire shield doesn't attack on turn one and will attack on turn two instead. So it will be sixty one damage, and you draw three cards. That's it is a lot. Super, it is insane. Super poggers. All yeah. right. Oh shit. We do have five energy though, which is nice, and we're getting yeah. two relics. You are getting this. two relics. Yeah. All right. We almost uh, touched the second page. Yeah. That's cool. I don't think I've ever done that before. Is his arm worth it on the one that will do multi attacks and then focus on the other? Or a hard Gotta get rid of his vulnerable first. Oh. Or is it is artifact? Uh, is or artifact. Yeah. Would it be yeah. worth it though um, if we could? Yeah, absolutely. I do think it is correct most of the time to focus that guy because the other guy gains blocks so this is, heavily. This is really nice. Yes, yeah, right? that's amazing. The power of the Intimidate. Honestly, Intimidate's been clutching. It's this, been nice. This it's been so quite far. nice. Yeah. yeah. 
I've been surprised. Do we disarm or? Yeah, no. Is that 100%. still part of our plan? Should we shrug no, it yeah, off just in, is... just in case we draw? The f I mean, you're not the gonna power? you're not gonna draw a scenario where you don't want to use it, I guess, unless you like. No, but find but, some no, 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 wiry I mean, combo to be able to burst them. Like say say I get feel no pain and impervious or some shit. Wouldn't I want to use no, feel no pain? Right. Yeah, you're okay. right. You're right. Holy, he's right. He's learning. <laughs> uh, maybe war cry. Yeah, just no, to, you... just to. No, no, I mean, yeah, he is. Okay, whatever. well, there was a there was a chance. Uh, whatever. Um, right. Yeah. So... so, if you disarm that guy and then inflame, you're taking three times two. It's two times two. You're taking four damage this turn. Like that's amazing. You're getting out thanks, in a really, really good thanks way. Thanks to the anchor. Yeah. Was it a bad idea to oh, attack this spear? Oh, no, you're taking fucking zero. Look at you. Am I? No, it's you want to stay. You want you want to stay. Technically, if you are so, just for like easy reference, technically yeah. you are you take slightly less damage. If in this exact scenario you face the shield, I even without that. the disarm, you yeah. take slightly less damage facing the shield. But then that means you have to turn around next turn. So it's like oh. usually not worth it. Is and there, also you have there, tungsten rods, so you're not yeah. taking as much damage to the multi attack. Like it's oh. there's like a zillion factors. Yeah, sorry for the repeated questions. Is there a general guideline of which of these two ugly bastards you need to kill first? Or I usually say the spire shield or the spire spear just because. Um, the Spire Shield just defends where the Spire Spear is what really fucks you up. But if you have like a one turn kill, it's really easy to do it on turn one against the Shield because they just have less HP, right? Like, right. Yeah, 93. You did a bunch of damage this turn and he still has more HP than the Shield, but like yeah. the Shield be shielding. Well, I mean, this could be worse. We get to draw something at least. Mm hmm. And it could be the offering. Well, I mean, do we want to play this? Um. So next turn, the guy is going to be doing their big attack, and you do have Impervious in your draw pile. If yeah. you play this, you just won't be able to play it. But what you can get off is still Feel No Pain block. Feel No Pain block will still work. Oh, so right. if you draw it's Feel No Pain and Fiend power. Fire and Offering, yeah, you could still get it off. So I think it's worth playing. I think I think it's I think it's worth doing, okay. uh, just because you have a good chance of getting off Alternative block with both an upgraded Battle Trance and a thing in your hand. And I would do Bash on the guy on the right. So that you can have I, a chance of I, killing I, him I, next was, turn. I was thinking the same just because. Because killing him yeah. does turn you around. Um, shit. Do, we um, wanna... do you have another pommel in your draw pile? I don't remember what we've used. Yeah. We do not. Well, I still think that the play here is to. Um... There's a small chance we're a little bit fucked if we don't draw Fiend Fire. No, I. No? Well, you always draw Fiend Fire. So Am if I... you feel no Why? pain. Yeah, yeah, because if you feel no pain and you battle trans. You'll draw four cards. And if that card oh, isn't ah, Fiend yeah, Fire, can, you can put just, Fiend can Fire do... in your hand. Oh. Yeah. So do I use Sector Weapon first? So, it doesn't matter? I would not because it... Yeah, I would not just because you want more cards in your hand. But yeah, so this is this is amazing. This is good. Ah, uh, I see. Just in the chance that I get it anyway. Okay, I, I got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I mean, you can I mean, I could, even upgrade the... I could, I could even do this yeah, for so extra... Yeah, so you can, you can would, feel no pain. It would be extra block from this, right? Exactly, yeah. So you feel no pain, and then you bring in the thunderclap. Oh. Wait. Um. Frost? The, the... Did I? What? Oh, my bad, my bad. Sorry, it bugged. It bugged. Oh, no, I own. just didn't use feel no pain yet. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, the card doesn't work if you don't use it. You should have told me that. What That's the hell? A pretty stupid uh, bug. Oh, teacher. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know if we have lethal here, though. Um, I don't think you do. Do you have it when you upgrade it is the question. When I upgrade it. <laughs> uh, uh, God damn it. One second. Um, let's do some math. This one to nine. When I upgrade it, it's ten. Um, it'd be 18. Uh, so it'd be 12. 18 times. How many cards in your hand? Why 18? Because, because we're aiming at the spear? Yeah. 18 times, 18 times times six. Five. Oh, five, because we use armaments first. Yeah, so no kill. Unless you... So there is a chance that with the attack potion... One, the attack potion is just plus 18 damage, just sitting in your hand. Um, and then there also is... No, I guess you can't duplicate it anyway. I was going to say draw, but draw is obviously not off the table. But it yeah. is plus 18. But I don't think that the plus 18 doesn't help you at all. Unless... Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Uh, what is 18 times 6? 18 times 6. Chad, what's 18 times 6? 
105? No, 108? Could it be? 108. Is that correct? At least 15, that's true. Yeah, so I think your goal here, the... Mm. I need to use this attack potion, don't I? Um... I don't necessarily think so. So, hmm... I'm, try, I'm just trying to... My brain is my brain is cooking right now. Bro, me, you're, me... you're... You're... Like, this is putting me off just how much we need to stop on thing this shit. Holy fuck. I see you use your calculator in your streams, and I understand why. You know what? Why don't we use the attack potion? No. Upgrade it nope. with armaments? No? So... The best play... Yeah? I think... Is... To fiend fire the guy on the right. Okay. And then to use the attack potion... Okay. To turn around. That's pretty smart. <laughs> wow. Wow. Because Breath. the next turn, the Spire Spear is not going to have any block, and you're going to be able to finish it off. I think that's the best play. Is it more damage to uh, armaments first? Uh, that's the question. Yeah, 13, that's a good point. 13 times 6. It's 13 times 6 more than 18 times 5. Uh, Seems like, is it? Yes. Uh, it's less block. It's less block, because I get one less. I think it's better not to. It's true. It's true. More damage, less block. Okay. Maybe yeah, that's just... fine. Yeah, it, it's like four more. Now. Use this. Um, I think... Heavy... Eh, Sever Soul's not terrible because of the burns. Heavy Blades, you have, what, two strength? So Heavy Blades dealing 20? It's free, it's free this turn. Um, yeah, this would be... This would be... Wait, why didn't it CC 18, top? Oh, no, the CC top can't go off. Yeah, 20. This yeah, you don't want the Battle Trance because it won't turn you around. 15. So it's Sever Soul or Heavy Blade. Heavy Blade technically does more damage now, but Sever Soul might have utilization. Wait, do you say Battle Trance? This isn't Battle Trance. This is Sword Boomerang. No, no, no. I was, I was wondering why... I was, I was sorry. I was thinking out loud of, like, Unceasing Top didn't go off because it's because of Battle Trance. We would have had Unceasing Top if we didn't have Battle Trance. It, don't worry uh, about it. Don't worry. I was just thinking uh, out loud. Was... Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think that. Um... Take Sever Soul? Yeah, sure. It's not gonna damage through the shield, right? So we just need to think about no, that. No, no, no. Yeah. So. Bonk. Right, so we're taking 10 damage, which seems. Perfect. Acceptable? Fine. Yeah. And yeah, oh. now you can. Most likely you'll be able to kill the guy on the right this turn. Oh, yes. so good. You uh, do I want a right. Reaper just to. Just because I no. can? No, not really. Um, I mean, you can, yeah. You can to be able to, like, heal the full and then... I think it's M fine. Maybe a battle chance before? Sure. This Sever Soul would be... Maybe worth considering since I would get rid of some stuff. But, um, uh, what is what is in your draw on your discard pile? That's my question. If you're going to Sever Soul. You have one burn left. You have an anger. And then... You would have a bunch of attacks. Yeah, I think it's fine. I, I think it's fine. He's going to do a little attack. The, the shield's going to do a little attack next turn. I think it's okay. Yeah, it gets rid of a burn. It gets rid of a bunch of useless things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, now you're just gonna <sighs> do your cycling thing. You play a bunch of blood for bloods and. Okay. Should I? Because the the been... angers are just gonna make a billion block, so it's like we're pretty solid right now. And then battle trance to see if you get anything cool. Why is it making a billion block? Because of the ornamental fan. Oh, right. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm swimming in this pool of stuff we have. And... <laughs> Yikes. Like this is bit. why... This, no, this is why anger's good. Anger's so good. Anger's the kill here. Anger is fine. I can't believe we made it through that. Oh. Oh, and a heart of iron? That's so fucking good. How come? This is just six block every turn for this upcoming fight. That's so amazing. Yeah, I guess. And you're full HP for the fight, too. Oh. Sentinel. Dude, Sentinel kind of goes well if we exhaust it as part of um, Fiend Fire. Mm -hmm. We can then begin to draw a bunch of things with Unseizing Top if we have extra leftover energy. Is that He's a, a genius. He's is, a genius. He's that, a genius, I say. Is that an idea or too much fluff? No, that's a really good idea. 
No, that's very Would solid. Would body slam that's... be better? Because now we have a couple options where we can block for, like, nah. I it's mean, it's okay. It's, it's, it's decent. It's, um, it's also zero cost. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be zero cost. So it's, like, going to cycle really hard with unceasing top. It's like, that's your late, that's like the end of this fight, is you're just going to unceasing top, unceasing top, unceasing top, unceasing top for like the last 200 damage. Uh, um, third strike the charm? No. No. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think so. So I, I think, I think body slam is fine. I, I also think that sentinel is fine. I think whichever one you go with, I think is, they're equally as good. Uh, I'll go Whatever with the slam. It seems, it seems simpler. Yeah, we don't have a slam yet in the deck. That's true. Okay. This is so intimidating, dude. Bruh. <laughs> Um, hey, it's the heart. Look at that. Yikes. Um, so you can go ahead and use your potion. There's no value in not using your potion here. Okay. The, yeah, the heart of iron. Okay. You don't have like toy or an yeah. or anything that's going to heal right, you for five. Right, right, right. Good. And then I think we just get to offering, see what happens. Um, do we not walk me through here? Should we use Warcry here at any circumstance? Uh, at the end of your draw is usually when you want to Warcry. Okay. And I wouldn't anger because if you could upgrade the anger before you start sending them, just more damage. Yeah, and we're not hitting the max anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I um, mean, I think it's perfectly fine as well to disarm this early on, simply because uh, they always every every three turns yeah. they cleanse all negative strength and then gain however much strength they want to. Um, and since the first time you're going to be vulnerable, like it's just zero versus forty-five damage. <laughs> I I'm sorry. It's a very large difference. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, because it's three fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Um. So, uh, what's our plan here? Um, I think you can uh look for something with War Cry and then Battle Trance and trying to. That's amazing. It's really good. Good start. Okay. Um. It doesn't matter. You're gonna Battle Trance anyways. We're just trying to cycle and, and find some good tools. We did uh, unfortunately find the panic button in the impervious. Yeah. So there yeah. is a chance we're some going. merit to playing both of them, but I also think just like tanking no. the sixty seven damage is fine. Yeah. Um so yeah, I would I would play the battle trance here and just continue uh, to cycle. Discord Okay. Um. So I might want to play the Fenify if, if I'm going to play any other card, right? So I don't start to take damage. Yeah, it's only one damage because of the um, yeah, tungsten rod. So it's Do I... not super bad. Oh, 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 dude, I'm so, I'm just so you, lost, You're getting man. dizzy? You're getting yeah, dizzy? Yeah, the, the analysis paralysis. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> am I defending anger? I, I mean, I could obviously do a lot of damage with impervious panic bottom body slam. And it would stay and only lose 15 at a time, but... It just it doesn't feel right to use it. I feel like I'm gonna need that a few turns from now. Yeah, and you can also upgrade them. Um, okay. They can become more valuable. That's so, so I agree so with you. It's not super worth it. You're not dying this cycle because you're not taking any damage on the one turn. Is it okay to take damage here? Yeah, right. Yeah, I think it's fine to take like one little teeny bit of damage, and that just gives you a little block. Yeah, I think you're fine. Just pass you can even here. play Reaper here if you wanted to. Just well, to get just it to out get of your of deck, it. but also like it'll heal for a decent amount later when you're like have strength or low on health. I think it's worth it to you. Okay, thank you. All right, so now we get all the best cards in the game. <laughs> okay, well that sucks a little. It sucks that you didn't draw intimidate next turn. Maybe you can draw armaments here. You do have one more pommel, I believe. <laughs> oh, Unfortunate. <laughs> That's. Okay. Uh, Cleave and pass, or not even? I would play the slime at least, yeah. Oh yeah, true. Good point, thank you. So yeah, Intimidate without an upgrade just doesn't carry on to the next turn, so it's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, your goal here is just to, to draw those things. So I would play the secret weapon to grab the bash, and then to try to draw all of the things you can in order to try to get to your, to, to the shit, essentially. Trying to get to the ass. Yeah. Um, and then here I would play... Um, what? I'm so I would play... Why? I mean, I had two defensive cards. I didn't draw any of them. Oh, you're fine. The... Those, those are bad, though. You didn't want those. So here you're going to play Inflame Thunderclap. Because Inflame 
It's going to put you down to zero block. Then you're going to play Thunderclap for free. And it's going to hit you once, which is going to make blood for blood cost zero. And then it's going to also give you four, two block. And then you're also going to end the turn. And then those two cards are going to exhaust. And they give you eight block. And then you also get six block. So you're not taking nearly as much damage as you thought. Um, and now you're in blood for or blood, or Red Skull Rain. You're such... Dude, you're, like, your skull does it ever hurt when your brain gets this big? That is very it impressive. Does, but this one's pretty straightforward. I wouldn't play that. Uh, I would shrug it off first and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, um, that's good, right? Just yeah, now? it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then I would battle trance and see yeah. okay. well, what you grab nice... here. See, now, you're, now your Reaper's at full value and you can even upgrade it and then also upgrade the Anger. So now you can Reaper. Wow. And then Anger. Okay. So... <sighs> and look, dude, you have one block. Holy... Shit. And it just can't artifact. Shit it. Um, no, you're fine, because you have in your draw pile Impervious and Panic Button, and the next turn is like is not that much there's damage. A, there's a chance I don't draw any of that. No, no, one of them at you least has to, be, has to be drawn. Yeah, you can also draw Fiend Fire for a bunch of block. Okay. Uh, is that you want to draw Fiend Fire here with the burn and the wound. Um, so I would just play Pommel Strike here and see what, see what happens. Okay. Not the best draw, but let's see what happens if you draw again. Okay. So. I mean, um, this seems like we could block Body I, Slam with Impervious and save the Panic block. Button. No, I think you use both of them. What? And then you won't take that much damage next turn. And then we're damage racing them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't think I should save this for later? Nah. Can you run me through that so I understand it a bit better? Yeah, so you're going to save a decent amount of the block for next turn, and you're going to full block. Oh, I don't know if you'll save much of it, but you'll, you, you're will you not really going to be blocking much next turn because you know you're drawing two shit cards, <laughs> right? You know you're drawing two oh. dead cards next turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the likelihood that you draw anything super good is is low um, since you have a 12 card in your draw pile. Yeah. You can definitely play Intimidate. That's perfectly fine. Um, and um. But yeah, I think I think the Impervious Body Slam is is fine. You can even uh, technically Impervious Panic Button, Anger Body Slam, and it'd be two more. Oh, sorry, what was that? Impervious Panic Button, Body Slam. Impervious that... Panic Button, Anger Body Slam. What's the difference there? Because your uh, Ornamental Fan's at two, so you'll get two extra blocks of the Body Slam. What the fuck? Uh, impervious <laughs> Panic Body Slam, Anger. No. Yeah, well, Anger Body Slam. But yeah. Impervious. Ah, uh, just so Body Slam gets a bit more damage. I follow you. Yeah. yeah I yeah, follow yeah. you. I follow you. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I did it now, I would do 71. But if I do this first, it gives me a bit more. Now I do 73. I mm -hmm. understand. There's okay. a good chance we die in this fight. But there's also a good chance we don't. And I think that that's fun for us to figure out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, we have... Shrug it off still. We have... Uh, yeah. Um... We're not blocking for anything. Even yeah, if, even if, with this even if, potion, you're not gonna. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't work, right? Yeah. Yikes. And there's a good amount of attacks. Who? Cool. Am I dead as fuck? Am I, am I dead as fuck here? Uh, is that no? You're fine. Am I surviving with like one HP or something? Oh wait, yeah, tungsten, something like that. tungsten, tungsten, tungsten. Okay, okay, okay. Like I said, I think we're pretty much fucking dead. But, like, we're playing it to the best of our ability, and that's okay. Dude, how the fuck am I You've gotten pretty annoying I'm draws. I'm gonna do this on my own. You'll have a better deck than this. This was, a uh, Yeah, I mean... A, this it, is a mad deck. Like, you took things that were probably the best rat line, but, like, the Black Star didn't work out. You got Tiny Chest. You got mm. Matryoshka. Like, you got so many things that were, like... Why don't you just wait for value, and then the value never came? Which sucks. I understand. It feels bad. Yeah, this it's really a hasn't good been... Fire. Hold on. It's not a terrible feed fire. Should I... Here. Wait, I can't, right? I have to. Yeah. Oh, I think you should use shit, that. Dude. I'm so fucked, dude. I'm so fucked. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Thing. Um, so let's have well, a look at time to use the potion at least. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, we're not killing. We're dead because we need to deal more than 200 damage in two turns. We can't do that. 
What happens a... after two turns? I think I understand. Like it just. Well, next turn is the multi attack that's gonna kill you. But since you can only do 200 damage a turn, you're not gonna be able to kill in the next two turns. Yeah. I understand. So, next turn, I don't think we're winning against. Is what I'm saying. Hey, we got pretty close, and that's all that matters. You don't win them all. We did really solid. Okay. Did that feel good at least? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I I learned quite a bit, honestly. Our brain is also mush at the end. Like, it's... Yeah, it really is. Not terrible, but let's be honest. Uh, you did not... You know you know when you're, a, when you're a dad and you have your little kid and it's got its little training wheels on its little bike, you know? You never, uh -huh. you never once let go. And in fact, the one time I improvised, I did like, I did like, I did like twice. And one of them was almost immediate failure, almost immediate catastrophe. So, yeah, I did learn a lot. And some of the, some of the ideas you gave me and some of the light that you shed on some of the enemy behaviors, I think that will help with way more than just um, this character. Is this all the mm -hmm. time you have for today? I don't think we want to do another run, bro. I don't think you can absorb any information. Yeah. Um, if you ever want to do this again, like you want to feel like you need some more tips on other characters, I, this is incredibly I, fun. I, dude, it was a blast. I don't know how much my yeah. audience could follow or how interesting it was for yours, but I found it fascinating. <laughs> I wouldn't want to take your time if I don't feel like I'm going to be able to take advantage. So I'm going to run a lot of runs, get started on this mm -hmm. challenge. Uh, and when I feel like... I have a lot of questions. You know, when you want to have like a one-on-one -on -one time with your professor at university and you don't have any questions, mm -hmm. so it's kind of wasted. When I have a lot of questions, I'm going to bother you back. And if you have any more of your time to share, I will squeeze it. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. And and, and I also think that if we do do another run, I said doo-doo. Um, if we do another run with a different character, there won't be all of that fluff, right? All of that like rare percentage of this teaching, you know, about specific enemies that... I think yes. it will be much more focused on the specific characters. So if you that's true. end up running into specific questions about characters, I will. Let's run that. I will, a hundred percent bother you. Thank you so very much. I will continue to uh, listen to you while I sleep, and then <laughs> figure out why exactly I have new words in my vocabulary that weren't there before. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah. much. I super appreciate <laughs> you. And jokes aside, even though I did watch most of your stuff to learn the game. I have to say, you are a fucking terrific streamer, dude. You're an amazing okay. fucking streamer. I am a big okay. fan of you. Seriously. Okay. Um, okay. So I just like uh, to invite everyone in my chat to share. What was your name again? Something, something. I would mm -hmm. invite them all to give you a follow. Uh, you catch more gameplay like this. Slay the Spire 2 is coming out, what, next year? He'll be playing the heck yep. out of that. He also plays Balatro and other strategy games. And honestly, he's yeah, he's he's a he's a demon, and his community is really fun. They all bully him uh, nonstop. You're gonna fit right in. I know some of you can all help yourselves. So yeah, thank you, Frost. It was awesome, dude. Seriously, I think that Ots Darva is really hot. Um, I'm gonna leave now. He left. <laughs> <laughs>